I put this in here for you. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, go to YouTube and type in metric conversions or metric system or whatever. There's lots of YouTube videos that explain how to do it. Okay. This is how I did this. Here, start at the middle. The middle is one. One meter, one liter, one gram. Ten to the zero is one. Okay? Up here, we're getting multiples. Ten to the first is ten. So I have one. Ten times one is ten. Two times ten is a hundred. Ten times ten. Ten times ten. Then ten to the third, ten times ten times ten is a thousand. Then ten six times is a million. Ten nine ten nine times is a billion. So what I did was for multiples of I used capital letters. Capital G for giga, capital M for mega, capital K for kilo, capital H for hecto, capital D for deca. Going down into the parts of one. One tenth is ten to the negative one, little d for deci, and so on. One one hundredth, ten to the negative two, one one thousandth, ten to the negative three, one one hundred thousandth, ten to the negative six, one one billionth is ten to the negative nine. Deci, centi, milli, micro, nano. Okay. One of the students told me this is how they remembered it. Only thing is it doesn't go up to mega, giga, or micro, nano, but you can add your own GM. <laughs> anyway, King Henry died drinking chocolate milk is how they remember it. Yeah, I learned that too. Hmm. You do? Yeah, I don't yeah. remember having that. Mm -hmm. And if that sounds familiar, it means you were taught this at some point. Okay, so mm -hmm. in the upper part, I'm doing examples of smaller to larger, conversions from smaller to larger. So let's look at this, oh, can't do that way. So let's look at this one. If I have 100 kilograms right here, 100 kilograms converted to gigagrams, I'm going from smaller to larger. How much am I going? Kilograms is 10 to the third. Gigagrams is 10 to the ninth. I'm going six zeros larger. So I have to do my calculation. So if I have 100 kilograms, which is 100 times 10 to the third, because kilogram is 10 to the third, that equals how many in gigagrams, which is 10 to the ninth. So I have to move my decimal six places to the left, because I'm going bigger. So I'm going to the left, going bigger to the left. So if I take my 100 and I move the decimal six places to the left, that becomes, I literally do it this way, right? If I move it six places to the left, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I have to fill these in with zeros. So now I have 0 .0001, right? Because I'm going to erase that. I'm going to have 0 .0001. Follow me? Yeah. Okay. Let's go the opposite direction over here, larger to smaller. If I have 0 .0001 gigagrams and I want to convert it to kilograms, I'm going to go larger to smaller. I take that 0 .001 and again I have to move six places because giga is six, uh, excuse me, giga is nine and kilo is three. So that's six places. Nine minus three is six. But I have to go to the right now because I'm going larger to smaller, larger to smaller. So I go to the right. And if I move my decimal point six places to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's going to end up 100 kilograms, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, back where I was. Get rid of that, it's 100 kilograms. Okay. You can practice with smaller to larger and larger to smaller over here. You're converting microliters to <coughs> milliliters. In this lab, that's mostly what we're going to do. Convert microliters to milliliters or milliliters to microliters. 
milliliters to microliters. So let's look at our pipettes. I can erase all of this now. 